News that we have for you today is uh, news about Ryanair. It is that there has been another big rise in profits at the budget airline. It made uh, 408 million euro in uh, the last six months of trading. There's also uh, more than 26 million passengers now on its planes. One thing on Ryanair's agenda, of course, is the rising cost of oil. BA British Airways was talking about this on Friday as well, of course. Uh, Ryanair says rising fuel bills uh, have uh, pushed up the costs of running the business. Uh, fuel bill up itself by 40%. Uh, Michael O'Leary is with me. He's the Chief Executive. Good morning to you. Good morning, Declan. Uh, the, uh, we're looking at roughly $100 for a barrel of oil now. Mm -hmm. Other airlines have brought in fuel surcharges. You haven't. How have you managed not to do it? Well, you see, we've been, like most other airlines, we're, we've hedged our fuel out to the middle of next year. So, you know, our fuel prices are not actually rising at the moment, which is much the same for British Airways and others. They're using higher oil prices as a means of whacking on more fuel surcharges, basically hidden price increases. And what's that doing is driving passengers in favour of Ryanair because only Ryanair guarantees the lowest fares and guarantees no fuel surcharges. Hang on. For a man that's bringing in a charge to check in at the desk and a charge for baggage, you're not really in a strong position to criticise others for hidden charges. Oh, well, we are, you see, because those, check, those, those charges are voluntary. What we're trying to do is to get passengers to travel with hand luggage only to check in on the website. If you do that, you get lower fares. It's the ones who insist on bringing bags and checking in at airports. They'll pay higher fares. But in the round, as the six-month numbers show, average fares, have, including these charges, have fallen by 1%. We're charging lower fares at a time of higher oil price, and that's why traffic has grown by 20% and why we're raising our full-year profit forecast. We think profits will rise now by about 17.5% this right. year. I'll come back to the extra charges in just a minute. I just want to finish off the the thing about fuel bills, uh, if your fuel bill is up 40% this year, how much longer can you sustain increases of that magnitude? I think, you know, it depends on what the competition do. I think if the competition keeps sticking up fuel surcharges and raising fares, I think then we will continue with our no fuel surcharge guarantee. Ryanair has a policy with our passengers, even if oil hits $200 a barrel, that we guarantee no fuel surcharges on Ryanair. Okay. The extra charges that I mentioned, the yeah. charges for checking in, the charges for uh, checking in bags as well. People might think if you fly that that's a fairly essential part of what you do. You have to check in. You will bring luggage with you. What, where do you make the decision on what is an added extra mm. and what is a core bit of the service that you provide? I think what Ryanair has been doing is changing the way people travel for the last 20 years. I think all these services were free when British Air, in the good old days when British Airways was charging you 300 quid. We're now charging you 30 quid a ticket. And what we're saying to people is we're trying to incentivize people travel with, with hand luggage only and check in on the website. You then don't, we then, you're a much cheaper passenger for us because we don't have to rent an airport ticket desk. We don't have to have check-in staff and baggage handling staff. So you get lower fares. The other passengers then, we ask you to simply bear the cost of the airport check-in and that check-in staff. You pay two euros for an airport check-in and it's voluntary. Any passenger who wants to uh, travel without those charges can now do so. Check in on the web, travel with up to 15 kilos of carry-on luggage, and you'll do it almost for free on Ryanair. And most passengers are doing it. That's why the average fares are falling. Okay, Michael Lillery, nice to talk to you. Great to see you,